From 2006 through 2007, Civil War was released as a company-wide crossover event that involved nearly every superhero or superheroine in the 616 Marvel Comics universe. Due to the very political notions of the event, it was later known as one of the worst Marvel Comics events to have ever been published, but in the order to have the otherwise non-memorable event to have significance or meaning, a number of lasting events that linger through 2000 Marvel's comics were later forced onto writers to give a sense of uniformity throughout the Marvel comics at the time. But the speculative scenario is this. Why did Captain America quote unquote die in the early 2000s Marvel comics? Throughout the 1990s, Marvel comics were in a tumultuous situation due to the declining sales of comic books. Changing times had Marvel in particular struggle with sales on to proclaim relevance to American readers when there were other things for them to do with their excess time instead of buying on reading Marvel comics. Marvel leadership knew that to occasionally leverage sales they had to promote events that engaged in crossovers with various characters for various reasons. Up until that time, events depicted in Marvel comics were rarely done, but as a result of diminishing sales as mentioned, it was decided to occasionally implement events to promote the characters, remind consumers of the said characters, and most importantly to sell comics of the related characters. In the early 2000s, sales of Marvel comics were still struggling, so editors and publishers at Marvel decided to promote events to remind consumers of Marvel comics. At the time in the United States of America, it was a political and social situation within the entire country, and the consensus were at Marvel to actually interpret the feelings of the country into the event now known as Civil War. Despite Marvel publicizing on promoting the event, opinions from critics on readers were that it was a convoluted event. Despite initial interest in the event, sales of related comics slowly decreased as it progressed towards its final conclusion. While the details of Civil War and those who supported or resisted the superhero registration are, consensus were that those who opposed it were going to be ultimately successful. Captain America led the forces against it, while Iron Man led the forces that supported it. Readers assumed that cop would have been victorious, but in one of the most despised moments in 2000's Marvel Comics, the iconic character of Steve Rogers was quote-unquote killed. The quote-unquote death of Captain America had vocal critics of the time, Our Steve Rogers quote-unquote murder was something simply done to give the lackluster event meaning. Sales of the particular issue sold well for Marvel, as Captain America was left dead for a period of time to gain maximum exposure from news on social outlets before plans were made to recon the death of Captain America and to bring him back to life. Eventually, due to negative public reactions to the entire notion of civil war on the fake death of Steve Rogers, both events were rarely mentioned in Marvel Comics since the event's conclusion. Due to the events in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, an adaptation of the comics was later done, with critics and viewers reacting more positively to it due to less characters being involved and more simplistic yet ingenious plot when in comparison the original comic-based Civil War.